Hello everybody, welcome to today's daily current event check-in here on NTI Day 20. Starting off with coronavirus news. On Friday I went over a plan to reopen the economy that President Trump presented and today I'm going to go over that plan a little bit more in depth. It's a three-phase plan that must see the following happen before the plan to reopen the economy begins. There must be a downward trajectory in new cases and people with symptoms of a flu or coronavirus-like disease for 14 consecutive days. Also, all hospitals must be able to have crisis care in place without the special assistance from the government. The reopening will occur in three phases. Phase one will include the following. Strict social distancing for all people in public. Gatherings larger than 10 people are to be avoided. Not essential travel is discouraged. Employers to telework or work remotely, where possible, and return to work in phases. Phase two will include the following. Non-essential travel for employers can resume. Schools and organized youth activity can reopen. Restaurants, gyms, and large venues can reopen with proper social distancing measures in place. Churches can reopen with social distancing, limiting gatherings to no more than 50 people unless precautionary measures are taken. Travel could resume, and elective surgeries can resume. Phase three would include the following. A return to normalcy for most Americans, with the focus on identification and isolation of new infections. Restaurants, gyms, and large venues can reopen with limited social distancing and proper sanitation. There are three states that are reopening their economies this week, and they are Texas, Vermont, which will happen today, and then Montana on Friday. And now for your coronavirus news, but in a happier light. As of right now, farmers are struggling as they are producing crops and livestock, but there aren't enough places to sell their crops and livestock. And also, some people are having a hard time finding food. As a result of this, President Trump and the U.S. Department of Agriculture passed a $19 billion relief fund for farmers and to help people uh, get access to food. $16 billion will go directly to farmers who are struggling financially with uh, a lack of places to buy their crops. And $3 billion will go directly to food banks and places like this to help provide food for those who are in need. Our farmers are some of the hardest workers that we have in America, and I'm thankful that they are being taken care of during this time. And now for your presidential fun fact of the day. Our 18th president, Ulysses S. Grant's name, actually was not Ulysses S. Grant. It was Hiram Ulysses Grant. But the admissions counselor at West Point, when he applied for college, messed up on his application and changed his name to Ulysses S. Grant. On this day in 1986, Michael Jordan set an NBA playoff record with 63 points against the Boston Celtics. And if you're watching The Last Dance like you should be on ESPN, you have known that from last night. Thank you all. I hope you all are doing well. And stay safe. Aww.